So the Bible says, Caleb intervenes. Caleb counters doubt and negativity with the promises of God. We should go up and take possession of the land for we can certainly do it, Caleb says. And I cannot speak for you this morning, but I've lived long enough now to thank God for the Caleb's in my life. I am grateful for the small circle of friends I have who can see what I cannot see as it pertains to my own life. I'm grateful for the voices in my midst who challenge my fears with my faith. I'm grateful for my sisters who will not allow me to settle for less than all that God has promised. I am grateful for those who can still see God when giants are blocking my view. The Bible says most of the men who had gone with Caleb replied, we can't attack these people. They are stronger than we are. And so it is with life. There will always be those who doubt our abilities, our readiness, our strength to acquire all God has decreed. There will always be those who say you're not smart enough, you're not anointed enough, you are not gifted enough. But I pray that you will always have a few Caleb's in your midst. I pray that there will always be those in your life who will remind you that nothing is impossible with God. My prayer for you is that you will always have a few folk that challenge your fears and interrupt your insecurities and remind you that you have nothing to fear with God. And in this current day, beloved, when there are dangers seen and unseen, in this current day where our civil rights and human rights are being attacked left and right, in this day when 11 million children go to bed hungry every night, in this day, in this country, where 587 children separated from their families at our borders still have yet to be reunited with their families. In this day, when all the safety nets for the poor and the vulnerable and the sick and the elderly and the young are being systematically and systemically dismantled. In this day, when Christian theology is being blasphemy, blasphemously just opposed with white supremacy his ideology in this day when preachers are plentiful but prophets are few we need a few Caleb's in our midst we need to be reminded that our giants are not giants to the God that we 